get back at the yard here. I need to uh, do a little scrap run tomorrow because I need to get my check. So I'm gonna scrap home just enough to make a bit of a load tomorrow. Nothing fancy, but first, first tomorrow, I believe. Take this off. all graded here anyway so need to be all those bushes taken out this one still has this cotter pit here so. See here's those igniters that are automatic. They have a battery inside, you have to remove it to scrap your battery. See that right there? Causes fires. Sometimes the junk will happen to me. The switch must have got jammed and I can hear it clicking, 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 you know. So something you have to remove. Grab here to actually remove it when you get there, they'll see it and they'll look for it. So I think you know after a while you have all these fires, you get big fines and stuff, so they'll be really careful. That's why I'm always constantly trying to find batteries and different things so so they don't have any issues, right? Batteries go. And I always put my batteries in a metal container, in case they catch on fire, they're not going to melt plastic or cardboard or whatever you do. So brittle, so old, but I think this, I have to cut this off here, I don't know if I use this sawzall. Should be number one, that's how I want to finish with it. Might as well just use something to hold it. Getting solder on this pipe so we can sell for number one. Hmm. 
tripping hazards. Got to pick them up right away. It disintegrated in a million pieces where to go. Let me see it. Okay, so I did have one of these things here. So this is from the um, Magnetron. Okay, I'm gonna get behind this here. It's been a while since it's sitting here. It's sitting for a long time. Might as well get it done. Okay, one's done. Okay, what else can I do here? A little more cast here and a few things. I'll try to make a load. 100 bucks or so, but I have to grab my check, like I said. So obviously gonna be steel here. Well, part of it anyways.
over here. So slowly get just whatever I can together that's going to be sellable tomorrow. It's plastic. This is all cast. And this is cast here too that's going to come off. Might as well reclaim my brass, right? You can tell brass has a kind of that jingle sound. Lumina would be dull, dull looking usually. These are good for like acid, right? Keep that one for now. I'm trying to make a collection of stuff for when I do the uh, e-waste recovery, gold recovery. Strainer for now. You know, I'm only gonna get what maybe less like 75 cents for that. Might as well just use it for things in my job. Use it for my um, gold recovery. Never get around to it. Okay. Stainless handles. Yep. Oh, it's got a steel bottom. It's a bummer. Okay. 
there, bro. I'll leave it them for dirty. Still sell them tomorrow. Make my check bigger. There's not much money, anyways, but hey, adds to the pile. This one today I got stainless. Rivets are stainless, not aluminum. When I was grinding, you could see the sparks coming. So it's coming from the uh, rivet. Some of it. the rubber hmm. wow you fell Okay, let me get it organized. Probably stainless. Okay. 
I took this last time, but I forgot this handle is here. So let's bring it back. It's like an ebony wood or something. Put your tongue stuff. These things. Don't have much extruded, so. Steel. Coffee. Coffee grinds in it. Probably an aluminum, I think. I don't know if it's cast or not, but. Must be cast, I would think, the stuff. It's not cast. It's cast. My old sheet here. So we got two, two stainless steel things that are magnetic. Okay, let me just get organized. I'm only taking off these for now. I'm not going to worry about stripping this. Want to get a good load for tomorrow? Bunch of crap together so I get my check. Should be all my scrap runs for the year on there. I have to do it every 30 days. And they're gonna pay me GST also on top of my scrap. So it'll be like 5% on top of the scrap.
It's actually a pretty tough one, it's got good rivets on it. Tough one. Guess I have to cut it. Tough one, I'll tell you. Usually come off really easy. Actually, steel rivets in there too, which I have to pop pop out. This is so noisy. I need something. It's the hardest one I ever had. Usually you're in and out easy. Okay. Looks like it's almost coming, maybe. I think it's just kind of like molded in there. It wasn't even uh, threaded. Kind of pressed in there or something.
one didn't break that great. I have to break it again. Huh, fell out. I need something to poke. Sometimes things are rods are good. Okay, let me just move on here. It's the last one I have out of all the ones I had. Somehow I missed this one. Or I did get find it, maybe somewhere in a job. I can't remember. Still. Like stripping these, this one's steel, but uh, the blade here is partly aluminum, so.
Okay, I'm going to take the board off and I'm going to see if it's aluminum or not, or, or whatever it is. We'll see. Okay. Okay, it's copper for sure. A bit of a bonus, but, uh, still, Let's see if I can cut it, strip it right away. It's weird how some, some copper comes off so easy and cuts nice, and some of it doesn't cut. Just phrase like crazy. Apart. So, anyways, stripped it. Okay. Just being slow, actually. Um, I'm gonna have to cut it or something. Let's see. slow to cut okay the brass there Hard to come off. Okay, let me undo that here. Just take it forever. So it's kind of being a problem here trying to get off. I think I have to cut it. Yes. 
crazy. This is pot metal, so... This will be all brass here. Okay, we're gonna grab more tops. The problem is there's um cast mixed in here. Brass and cast mixed. Let's see if I can get it apart. It's so far gone. I do is grip this off here, maybe. So only look so far. Hmm. Have to cut it, I guess. over here. It's actually brass, so it's okay. 